Hey, Sebastian, how's it going? Hey, yes, good. Can I ask you 67 questions? Sure, whatever. Okay, what's the culture like at Udacity in one word? Uh, fearlessness. Will online learning replace physical learning? No, it'll augment it and make it more accessible. What's something you miss about where you grew up? Um, I would love to have grown up in Silicon Valley where people are just crazy. What time do you wake up? I wake up to be at 8 o'clock and bring my son to school. What website do you absolutely love to spend time on? New York Times, to be honest. Favorite machine learning paper of 2016? We have one coming out in Nature in about two weeks, and I can't spill the beans, but it's machine learning. If you could meet one person, who would it be? Um, I'd love to uh, meet Albert Einstein, but he's dead, unfortunately. <laughs> Favorite car? Uh, Tesla. <laughs> you used to be a full-time professor at Stanford. What was something surprising about that experience? That I wasn't kicked out because everybody else was smarter than me. Bravest thing you've ever done? Um, I've uh, snowboarded down a cliff. What is one thing that scares you? Uh, actually, nothing really, honestly. Um, I, I, I live to be scared and love surprises. Hey, Sebastian. Hey. Do you play an instrument? Uh, as a child, I swallowed a saxophone. Have you hear it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope you feel better. Yeah, it's stuck to my, my throat. <laughs> What's more interesting, physics or neuroscience? Neuroscience at this point, because physics hasn't changed in a long time. Best present you've ever received? Um, a hug is always the best. A hug from my family or from my son. I love this more than anything else. What is something you do to chill? I run, I bike, and I ski. Uh, anything fast motion, honestly. I fly planes, too. What is something surprising about you? Um, I recently had an MRI of my brain. I found there's a gap up here, around here, about 2.3 centimeters wide. I think that's where normally fear is located because I don't have fear. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. How did you come up with the idea for Google X? Um, we wanted to do innovative stuff. We wanted to um, do crazy moonshots. Uh, so Larry, Sergey, and I sat together and asked what's the best way to do this. Favorite Google X project? Uh, there's no favorite, but the one I'm best known for is a self-driving car. What project are you currently working on? Oh uh, my god, Udacity, making uh, education globally accessible and democratized and double the world's GDP through education. If you could repeat one experience again, what would it be? Uh, boy, uh, being a startup captain is very humbling, to be honest. And there's many good moments and many bad moments, so I'd love to do it again. Why do you think deep learning has gotten so popular recently? It is amazing. I think we reached the critical scale of data. Like if you look at a, a rat brain, you can't teach a rat super interesting tricks. But if you make the brain a little bit larger than a human brain, you can do it. So I think in computer, we now reach the size of a human brain. What is your favorite operating system? Linux, of course. I spend way too much time hacking Linux kernels in my life. Yo, Sebastian, what's your favorite movie? Matrix. What is your favorite operating system? Uh, it is Linux, um, but I asked a question already before. Do you Has play? It changed. Yes. Do you play any sports? Uh, I run, I ski, I bike, uh, and do anything that's fast. Most adventurous thing you've ever done? Uh, I, f I snowboarded once and, f and actually broke my back by, by snowboarding over a cliff. So I've done like, crazy ski jumps before when I was young. What's one source you use to stay up to date in ML? Um, I love uh, browsing the web. I love talking to people. I go to conferences. And um, that's a lot of stuff in the news these days. Programming language of choice for machine learning? Um, for me, it's either Python or MATLAB. Uh, MATLAB because I love fast prototyping, and I love NumPy and, and Python. But um, when I go to production code, I go to C++. Favorite professor? Myself? No, ha, just a, what a joke. Uh, my mentor, Tom Mitchell at Carnegie Mellon, who is uh, founder of the machine learning department, is just amazing. Wh why do you think programming is fun? It's amazing. I love it. I do it for recreational purposes. I just programmed a Sudoku problem solver just because I was jet lagged. It's fun because it's a great mental exercise. Favorite comfort food? Uh, oh my god. Uh, I actually make my own food. I have a little food invention to make great dinner in three and a half minutes. And I love fish. Name one person you really admire. Um, I would say number one would be Larry Page, the uh, CEO of Alphabet. And I learned so much from him. What was your first program? Uh, I had a uh, pocket calculator called Texas Instrument 57. You should Google it. It looks like 1980s technology. And it had 50 programmable steps. And I spent endless time building video games on a pocket calculator. What text editor, what text editor do you use? Uh, usually Emacs. What open source library do you really like? Um, boy, I do a lot of work on Linux, of course. And I love working on uh, Python and the libraries. Best advice you've ever received? Boy, um, not to take myself too seriously. Life is supposed to be fun. Do you spend more time on the internet or real life? 
uh, real life. And even on the internet for me, it's real life because I interact with people, real people. Do you have any pets? Uh, no, only fleas, just kidding. No, not that I know of. <laughs> What's something you've learned in the past month? Um, I learned something amazing about crowdsourcing. Our students that produce software for the self-driving car are so amazingly strong. I think we should do much more crowdsourcing for software development. Do you like spicy food? I do. If you ran the world, what is one law you'd enact immediately? Um, I would force every kid in the United States to spend one year abroad to understand that there's more than just America. Is the singularity near? We are in the middle of it at this very moment. Who is one person you looked up to when you were in college? Uh, again, my, uh, my thesis advisor, Tom Mitchell, whom I met when I was in college, was just really like a god to me. And he helped me understand the importance of not just doing good research, but doing impactful research. What deep learning library do you use the most? I think TensorFlow is the best right now, but it's a fast moving field. If you were to start from scratch today, what is a learning resource you would use to learn machine learning? Definitely Udacity, no question. I think, honestly, it's not perfect, but I've done, I hope I've done a really good job of making it accessible. We have a new foundation on a degree on deep learning, which is very easy to understand. What is one goal you have in the next 10 years? Boy, I have so many of those. I love learning new things, so I get bored when I'm good at something. So right now, I'm learning how to do instrument piloting of planes but I also like to understand better how to make Udacity a really, really amazing company. Favorite subject in school when you were growing up? Math. If you could be a superhero, who would it be? Boy, I feel, sometimes I feel like Spider-Man on the depressed days. <laughs> 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 but I'm inspired to be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> What's your spirit animal? My spirit animal? Your spirit animal. Um, oh my god, Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> what do you predict comes next after the deep learning hype? I think machine learning will stay for, for quite a while and it's going to be as big a revolution as the agricultural revolution. And it's going to come in many shapes. But um, if I were to add one new thing, I think we're going to build machines that can browse all the dictionaries in the world, all the books in the world, and learn from it and, and combine image-based learning and, 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 and data-based learning with book learning. Coffee or tea? A coffee. Summer or winter? Uh, both. <laughs> Google Home or Amazon Alexa? Definitely Amazon Alexa because it has a name and it's, it, can, it, can, it can call it by name. Chrome or Safari? <clears throat> Chrome. WWDC or Google I.O.? Definitely Google I.O. My friends at Google are amazing. Awesome. All right, Sebastian, thanks so much for answering those it's questions. Total pleasure.